Right, ladies and gents, this is the uh, I Omega one, ex one gig, one terabyte rather, external hard drive. Um, it's died on me, so I'm just basically going to try and take it apart. Um, I've had a little look around it, removed one of the little rubber strips on the bottom, and the sticker can't find any obvious screw holes. Um, so I think the only option is to force it apart now. Um, I've tried sticking something quite thin, a um, little guitar collection. Uh, which is a 0.5mm gauge um, very very thin can't get it down the sides so I can't see any other option other than to just basically brutalise it open um, so I'm just going to give you an idea of how I try and get this done um, couldn't find any other videos of this particular drive being disassembled on the web and it's not going to be pretty but I just need to crack it open and just see if I can get this to maybe work with a different interface because I've got a slight feeling that it's the enclosure that's died rather than the actual drive inside. Oh shit. Probably one of the better assembled bits of kit that I've tried to take apart. It's pretty hard plastic that they use. That doesn't really flex much. It seems to be pretty thick as well. Probably going to be more of me taking a hospital trip with video than actually disassembling the thing. But let's try attacking it from another side. Don't want to go on that side because that's where all the connections are. But oh, there we go. Right. I would say tackle this the way that I have. which is to go via the sides obviously a little bit more flexibility in the case on the side and then once you've got it lifted up like that maybe stick a screwdriver or something in there just to hold it open so when you move your knife along that bit of the case isn't going to close up on you again maybe once you've got it in try and pry that along the side a fairly hefty gauge blade as well and it's just bending. Doesn't seem to want to do very much. Assembled a couple of external drives, but they've never given me the sort of grief that this has. Normally, there's a couple strategic points you can stick a couple of little screwdrivers in and it'll pop the case open, but here's the way they've constructed this one is it's not really gonna come apart without being damaged. If I do manage to salvage it, I'll probably just need to use a bit of duct tape or insulating tape just to hold the whole thing together afterwards but that's the least of the concerns now. I think once you've got one side open you can just start trying to force it apart really. Oh, that sounded promising. That didn't. Popped 
one side of it free. Right, we're up to five minutes on the video already. I'm sure you're painfully aware of anyway, but I'm trying to work as quickly as I can. I had 700 gigs of that I really don't want to lose on this drive, so this is the reason for it. Popping it open, and there we are. So, let's just get the final bit open here. See the interface is still in there. The actual drive itself is a Hitachi drive. Interesting. I was coming up as a um, Seagate when I connected it up to the computer, but anyway. So, you can see there's some clips around the edge which go in, but because of how thick the plastic is, you really can't get anything in there to. Um, Try and force it open. We've broken some of the legs off, but not to worry. Um, so yeah, really, really I'm putting quite a bit of force into that, and it really doesn't want to bend. Um, just try and position it. it really doesn't want to bend, so you can't even really sort of try and stick anything in there to release the pins. You really do just have to go for it. As for the um, interface, it seems to have two little Phillips screws. Holding it in place. I'm hoping that this is the bit that has died on me. We'll find out in a minute because I've got another interface that I'm going to plug up to this drive. And hopefully, I'll be able to recover my data. So that's it there. The two portions of the case. The one interface and a one terabyte Hitachi drive, which is not very old at all, as you can see. August 2010, I've had this drive maybe a year, well, under a year actually, um, six months, and it's died already, so quite disappointing. Um, but that is how to disassemble a iOmega one terabyte external hard drive.